Uh, the Honourable Damien O'Connor. Thank you, Mr Chairman. And um, uh, as my colleague uh, David Shearer said, we will be supporting, or Labor will be supporting this piece of legislation. It is uh, somewhat ad hoc, I have to say. Um, the uh, bill, original bill or act, is actually was passed in 2006, um, but wasn't, a, wasn't able to be put into place. And so what we're doing now are making amendments to that uh, piece of legislation um, in an ad hoc way that, that deals with the particular issues. Um, and, and that's progress, I guess. Um, but um, as we've seen um, in the House today, uh, a, a, another SOP from the Minister to tidy up a few things. So, so it, we hope that there haven't been too many omissions. The Select Committee did do its very best to cover all these things to make sure that the intent of the original 2006 Act is being carried through in a somewhat more modern um, environment and one where we've seen rapid growth and progress of the wine industry. So we endorse um, the implementation of the original uh, Act and its intention. But I, uh, at the Select Committee, on a number of occasions raised the issue of missed opportunity. And we are seeing, actually, with honey at the moment, Manuka honey, uh, something that is, uh, I guess, we've considered unique to New Zealand, um, something incredibly value, valuable and growing. Um, in both in terms of its total uh, export value and actually in the properties that are available across the, uh, the whole uh, health and medical area. Um, so we should have had some reference to protect that um, very, very valuable product that is being developed in New Zealand, sold offshore, without any protection at the moment. And it's the same thing with much of the food that we're producing in this country at the moment. So the geographical indicators proposition and legislation as we will pass through identifies the areas from which food and beverage is produced. Or no, it doesn't. It just actually deals with wine. But why not food? And I asked that question until most of my colleagues in the select committee got tired of me asking it. Um, you know, why shouldn't we? And it was because, quite frankly, we've got a government that sat on its hands over this and will sit on its hands over manuka honey, and will sit on its hands over food production, so that we'll miss opportunity. The only reason, as my colleague said, that we're actually, the government's moved on this, is because there's an EU trade deal. But we won't have an EU trade deal until we've addressed the issue of food geographical indicators and respect their geographical indicators, and should have in place those of our own. So this bill is a missed opportunity for New Zealand once again by a government that lacks the vision to see where we will be going as an export nation, the primary sector, into the future, 20, 30, 50 years out. We'll be back in this House, particularly if there's a Labor government, addressing these issues in food and in manuka honey and all of those other areas where we need protection for our producers and exporters but the government refuses to step in, Mr. Speak, Mr. Chairman. So the bill, um, as I say, makes amendments um, that, that around registration times, around protection of that. We have always assumed that Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc is something that we are proud of, we've developed. But actually, without this legislation, they have no security in the international marketplace. And indeed, they're already asking questions because of the large amount of um, of bulk wine supplied offshore that is bottled offshore with a Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc label on it, but actually with an, without the protections that I think we need to uphold that brand. A and um, while this piece of legislation will not guarantee protection for the wine industry, uh, it's certainly moving ahead uh, in terms of the production um, of the wine from an area um, and, and ensuring that we can put the label on it with some truth and with some integrity. Mr Chairman, as I say, we will support the Minister's SOP. Uh, we can't support the one of New Zealand First, uh, as much as we like to work with them on many issues um, and share their, their, certainly their criticism of the government on most issues. Um, on this particular one, I think the Select Committee's worked through it. Um, it's a tricky area, using Māori terms, um, and we believe that uh, it shouldn't just be the geographical board. I think these are 
will be more important issues as we move forward, as I say, into the area of food, um, manuka honey and other... Mr Chairman. The Honourable Damien O'Connor. Thank you, Mr Chairman. Um, as we move forward, um, and I think it's fair enough for us to establish, I guess, the precedent of having an advisory board where I think Māori terms will be a bigger part of our overseas exports. It's something that is truly unique to New Zealand, and I, sh I think we sh we're starting to appreciate that, Māori culture, um, you know, and all the history and the stories, and in fact the wisdom that we're just starting to, to learn about. As we move forward, we've got to ensure that we don't abuse or overuse, um, and that we have appropriate use of Māori terms, uh, geographical places, or whatever, Mr. Speaker. So, I, uh, Mr. Chairman, sorry. So, I think that um, we are making good progress. We don't want to delay the passage of, of this bill. Um, I think the select committee's done a good job. I'd like to acknowledge um, the members of government on that committee. Uh, they are, as always, under writing instructions from the minister, so they, they're a little bit um, restrained, I have to say, and, and probably would would be a smarter committee if, if um, they were allowed to do a bit more and work with the opposition. But, Mr Speaker, um, this is a good piece of legislation. I acknowledge the Minister that he has finally uh, got around to doing something. It's been sitting around from, since 2006. Uh, Labor welcomes the passage of this bill to protect the wine industry and all the amazing development that we've had there. But what they've missed is an opportunity to protect the food that we produce and things like manuka honey that is currently both of which are at risk uh, from, I guess, um, uh, from people uh, putting in place, selling, exporting uh, things around the world with New Zealand label on them, but they're, of course, not true to brand, uh, and they risk undermining our reputation. Mr Speaker, some progress, but a missed opportunity. Mr Speaker. Oh, the Honourable Paul Goldsmith.